Securities offered through T.J. Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. Content is intended to provide accurate information, however, is not intended as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult a financial, legal, or tax professional for specific information regarding your individual situation. Opinions expressed and provided are for general informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Welcome to Protect and Grow with Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns of TJ Stearns Incorporated. Trust, respect, and results. TJ Stearns Incorporated focuses on comprehensive financial planning and benefits. And welcome into the program. This is Protect and Grow Chicago Land Retirement with Chicago Land's Certified Financial Planner CFP and your planning resource with a common sense approach. He is founder and president of TJ Stearns Inc. Tim Stearns with us once again. Tim, welcome back. Peter, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. We appreciate the time and the guidance. And Tim, you always bring some important and interesting topics to the airwaves here for Chicagoland area savers and investors, those taking their planning and their financial future seriously. And today talking a little bit about goals and expectations and the all important plan for retirement income. Uh, yes. And it would appear that a lot of Americans uh, are trying to wing it. Uh, that's what we're seeing a lot in my retirement classes. Um, which again, we're offering online now, but people are, you know, uh, I think I'll be okay is not an answer. So we really try to make sure that these good people hone down on the fact that they need a income plan and we do that for them. Um, you know, we make a budget, we make sure that we know exactly where the money's going. What's I always tell them, tell me a hundred percent that's coming in and what's going out. And that way we can see where you guys are at. You know, have you saved enough? I don't know. We have to go through that exercise. And when you're done with that exercise, I'd say 90% of the people feel better. The last 10% are, oh man, I have work to do and I'm not retiring next year. Either way, a, a good thing to know ahead of time, right, Tim? Absolutely. 100%. And you know, you, you don't want to find out when you're 80 that you didn't have enough money. Absolutely. We can correct things if they're in the future. If we're Absolutely. looking back 10 or 15 years, kind of hard to, to get a do-over for retirement. You've said it 100%. before, Tim, you only get that one shot at that ideal retirement. Right, I, exactly. And I, and that's, I really mean that. And I, these people, you know, you cannot bury your head in the sand. You know, you need to, to get after this. Um, and, and really, like to your point that you just said, get ahead of it and Absolutely. make sure that you, you know where you're at. Um, you know, what's your burn rate? You know, how much are you spending? You know, because most of these baby boomers, you know, in 1974, this ERISA comes out, right? That introduced the 401k to them and pensions went bye-bye, right? So now we're just dealing with a set amount of money. You know, it's a finite amount. If you run out of it, it doesn't grow more. You know, it doesn't come again like a pension. So we need to, again, ascertain if that amount that you're retiring with is enough. Well, again, if you need help in answering that question, when can I retire? How much do I need to retire? How much income can the savings that I have been able to accumulate in retirement accounts, how much can it generate for me in retirement income? If you need to answer any of those questions, that's probably part of the income planning process. The fear of running out of money and income, the number one fear of retirees, but it directly correlates with the fact that the income plan, the written plan for how to generate retirement income is so often missing from people's plans. It's the maybe most important component of the transition to retirement. Tim Stearns can help you put that together. He can help you structure that. He can help you implement the written retirement income plan. If you need any assistance, pick up the phone and give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. And, and Tim, in our investment experience, I think that we have maybe had conversations about goals and objectives and expectations, something along the lines of, you know, what are your investment expectations? Well, I either A, expect to beat the market in good times. B, I, I don't want to take the full risk of the market. Uh, C, I expect not to lose any of my money in downturns. Or, or D, I expect my money manager to understand how to uh, manage both good times and bads. But, but Tim, we don't really have a similar conversation about retirement income. And, and maybe there would be a multiple choice there as well. I expect to be able to generate a steady stream of income in retirement, or I'm comfortable with my income fluctuating depending on the direction of the market throughout retirement. And I, I don't think a lot of people would actually choose that option. 
I, I agree. I think they, you know, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, we had a lot, fortunately or unfortunately, <laughs> we had 11 years of a bull market. People got really comfortable. They forgot about 2008. Then March happened and the pandemic and everyone ran to the hills. Oh my gosh, you know, the sky is falling and now we're back and the market's back up. So, you know, we're getting comfortable again. And then what I'm saying, go ahead, Peter. Well, I, I was going to say, Tim, the fact that the market is back up. I mean, in, in 2019, you were saying, hey, we've had 10 years of a bull run. We may be overdue for a correction. And then COVID hit. And, and that is a big correction. Without a doubt, you know, certainly a, a huge uh, jolt to the market. But the fact that we're back up uh, to, to all-time highs, to where we were at before COVID ever hit, uh, I'm not certain if that is the true correction for the market and the business cycle that we were maybe talking about and, and anticipating. I, I agree. I agree. I, I mean, no one foresaw that coming. My, my gosh, I, you know, uh, we had certain clients call in. I, I, how, how come you didn't predict, predict that? No one did, you know, and, and let alone, you know, us. So, and, you know, luckily we're back, but we had stop losses in no matter what, whether we didn't predict it, it doesn't matter when you have a stop loss and none of these people had stop losses. Yeah, other, right. When, when, when an event other, happens, an unpredictable right. event, Tim, there's still some safeguards that you can have in right. place prior to. And then the, the reaction, how, how you uh, position things during that, it's going to matter. Absolutely. And, and that's why, you know, we had a lot of people come back to the table that had told us we're okay for now because they lost and, and then now they're back. And, you know, my dad always said, it's a hundred percent of what you, uh, not a hundred percent of what you make, but what you keep. Absolutely. And so we, you know, we make sure that there's stop losses. I was very proud of how our uh, products performed. You know, we, we lost a little, but very little, not 28%. Well, Tim, if we were defining retirement income goals and expectations. Uh, I, I don't think a lot of people would say that I am comfortable with my income fluctuating during market downturns or with the market throughout retirement, or I am comfortable taking risk with my income base in order to grow and accumulate the lump sum. Yet that's how most people's plans for retirement are actually structured. Great. Right. And, and you know, uh, the great Tom Hagna has that book called Paycheck to Playcheck. I know that, you know, when I retire, I want to know what I'm getting per month. I don't want to guess, you know, I want to be able to, to be able to, to know exactly that I'm going to be able to pay my bills and then I'll have, a, you know, some surplus money that we can take the trip we've always wanted or what have you. Um, those are real things. These people that are going to kind of wing it, hodgepodge, I, I don't get that at all. And I, and I think, you know, um, I, and I'll go back to my analogy I always use, you know, if you're going to use me as a building contractor and I don't even want to come up with a blueprint to show you because I don't really have a plan, would you sign up with me? And everyone laughs at that and goes, oh my gosh, no. And I'm like, but your retirement, you're just going to kind of see what happens. Yeah. You know, and or, you or it, Tim, jumping jump in a car, we want to go somewhere. So we, so we open the door and the first thing that we do is mash on the gas to go. And right. it seems like that's what a lot of people are doing in retirement. They, they hop yeah. into it and they go, go, go. They haven't gone through that step-by-step -step process. First, you put the key in the ignition. You buckle your seat belt. You turn right. the ignition to turn the key on. You check directions behind you. You put it in gear. That's right. kind of the planning process. Right. That's what it takes to get going. And most people have not defined that income plan. So, Tim, again, you help people do that. And I want to back up and just remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you need help and assistance, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call. 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. But Tim, if you would back up for us, define what does an income plan look like and constitute and how is it different than what most people have with the investment plan? Well, uh, um, you know, an investment plan literally is just using, uh, is just using, you know, hypotheticals and, you know, I'm hoping I'm going to make 10% or what have you. What we do is, is, is a little bit different. We, we make sure that we are having the, the ability to know what the income is going to be. Um, the, you know, and we integrate it with Social Security. You know, are you going to take it at age 62? Are you going to wait till your full retirement age? Is that for 66 or 67? Or are you going to wait for the full retire, the 
uh, the absolute most you could get from Social Security, which is 70. Um, you know, and I'll brag that, you know, um, we are certified in helping people with that. With Social Security, you need to have, you have to have someone help you do that. I don't think it's, you know, um, they're, I don't know if you've ever seen their uh, landing page, but it says it will only take 15 minutes to get your Social Security. So let me get this straight. I've worked 35 plus years and I'm going to spend only 15 minutes doing something I've never done before and turn on my income. Is it right or wrong? Do I screw it up? You know, so we make sure that we, we do a social security optimization for people and so that they know exactly where they're at. So Tim, you're saying that what has taken us a lifetime to, to build up our, our benefit amount that we are entitled to and then what will affect us, not just for one, but in the case of a married couple for two lifetimes into the future, right. that, that it deserves a little bit more time and attention than 15 minutes? <laughs> right, which, which, which is interesting that you say that because you really are affecting your spouse, whoever that might be. Because, you know, if, especially in this day of age, we've had, you know, men that stay at home, women that stay at home. And, you know, maybe you're, you're the breadwinner and you're making that decision without consulting the person. I know that when we bring people in here, we'll make sure that all parties are there. So that social security optimization report is read, it's understood, and they sit and they go, mm -hmm okay, that's when I want to do it. Well, um, Tim, what I think is not, it, 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 what is talked about is run out and get it as soon as, as you can or right. wait all the way until 70. One, right. two, two schools of thought there. What's right. not talked about a lot um, and maybe not, not widely known is that when one of a couple passes away for the other surviving spouse, it is going to mean at at the very least, a one-third reduction in income up right. to a 50% <clears throat> reduction in income for that surviving spouse. That's important that's to know. Right. right, absolutely. And uh, that's one of the slides that we do at our, our retirement workshops at the, at the universities in the, in the area uh, is that we show people, you know, what it would happen if John Smith passed away, you know, uh, Judy Smith is only getting X now, you know. And a lot of times you see that where, unfortunately, a widow or a widower has to move because they can't pay the bills anymore. And, you know, and Peter, we've talked about this a lot, but when my mom, excuse me, when my dad passed away seven years ago, you know, my mom's bills didn't go in half, but I know the pension that they were getting from the railroad did go in half, you know, and that's something you have to account for. Luckily, my parents were savers. And of course, they had a great financial planner. Absolutely. Well, you can too, ladies and gentlemen, pick up the phone and give a call to certified financial planner, Tim Stearns, CFP for Chicagoland area savers and investors helping answer direct questions. If you've got a question, a concern, an issue that has been on your mind, or if you would like to go in depth and formulate that plan, do a detailed analysis of your accounts, your investments, how your dollars are working to help you achieve your goals and objectives, pick up the phone and give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 2256. And again, today talking about the income plan, Tim has made a book. It's an essential retirement planning strategy guidebook. It is being used across the country by advisors who are looking to help their retiring, retired, or soon to be retired clients understand the risks that you'll face in retirement and how specifically to structure the plan to address those risks. The name of the book is Income Allocation. And if you'd like to receive a copy of that book, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call. It's, it's part of that service that he offers, the education of the book, the uh, additional time and attention for an individual income allocation and retirement planning review and strategy session, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. The cover value alone of the book is over 20 bucks, but I think that the information in the book could make a sizable difference in your retirement. Maybe a swing in several hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of retirement, Tim. Yeah, I think it's worth it. And uh, I like the book so much that, we, uh, that I wrote the forward to it. It's written by a great friend of mine, David Gaylor. Uh, the thing I like about it is that even if you're not a finance major or fi you don't have a finance background, it's very easy to understand of what we're trying to do in that book. And that is show you that mutual funds can lose because they never can go to cash, all of it, unless you call it. Um, and, I, and again, to that point, I always tell people in the retirement classes, oh, when the market crashed in 2008, how many of you got an outbound phone call from whatever mutual fund company you guys use? it's a resounding zero. So every time. So we talk about that, that you can have 
products like what we do, which is, you know, we have stop losses on them. Uh, will you still lose? Sure. But not to the extent that they did in 2008 or they did in March. Uh, the other thing that we have in that book is we talk about, you know, how annuities can now act like the bond that was there in the 90s when I first started in this industry. You know, uh, people would, would flight to safety was bonds. Well, what happened in 2008? Bonds fell down too. What happened in, in March just a couple months ago? Bonds fell down just like the stocks did. So that is going to affect your income. And, you know, if you have an annuity uh, properly structured, it, it won't happen like that. Well, Tim, there was a recent article in Zero Hedge about retirement planning, and it was the 4% rule dead. What should retirees do now? And it talked about that uh, progress from the, the 80s to the 90s to, to today, where interest rates were up in double digits for, for CDs at the bank, for treasury bills and, and notes, and, and in bonds. You could easily get a relatively secure stream of income and cash flow that was excessively high which is what retirement's plans were based off then. And unfortunately, what they're still based off today, but conditions have changed. And, and right. that's why we really need to rethink the structure of that plan. It, it, it's all, you know, the gold at the end of the rainbow. I don't, it, it seems like a fallacy to me. And I think you need to work in the concrete, work in the know, as David Gaylor always says, you know, we don't hope, we, we know what we're going to be, be getting paid. Um, and that's, that's important. You know, you can't just have a, uh, you know, you, uh, I hope to do great, um, you know, and some, you know, I've seen some of the plans that come in here from other places and, you know, they're oh, 8% a year compounding. Oh, okay. That's not even possible. Full of hope. Yeah. Right, but, exactly. But, but no substance. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's ridiculous. Well, that's not what you base a retirement on. And again, it is no. just one of the many things that are explained and easy to understand language in this book, Income Allocation, which lays the basis for the foundation for why you need a written retirement income plan. And if you would like to have that plan, if you would like to have the book that explains how that can benefit you in retirement, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call, 800 640 2256. That's 800 640 2256. Tim, this book explains uh, addressing and alleviating market risk in your retirement income, yeah. determining the proper amount of withdrawal or cash flow rate, sequence of returns risk, and a number of things that are big issues that retirees have to have an answer for, have to address, and have to solve for in order to have a secure, fulfilled retirement. Uh, interesting that you bring up sequence of returns risk. When we do our classes, I ask right away, does anyone know what that is? And I'd say nine out of 10 people don't. And that 10th person usually has a foggy idea of what it is, or they're completely wrong as well. At the end of the day, sequence of returns risk says this. If you retire into a bull market, you will probably do all right in your retirement, like you won't run out of money. But if you retire into those years like 2000, 2001, 2002, you're going to have a tough time staying retired. So if you have a crystal ball and you know when the market's going to be up, <laughs> you know, and no one does, make sure that you retire then. So what I'm saying is we talk, you know, when we're doing financial planning with, with a written income plan, which again, 95% of Americans don't have we make sure that we are doing that, that you're not just hoping for something good to happen. And that, you know, if the market crashes, you're, you're, you're in trouble. We don't want that. I mean, no one wants that. So, and we call that literally the five years before you're retiring and the five years uh, uh, after you retire, the red zone, the most important years that you want to watch what you're doing. You yeah. know, and, and people, you know, think these uh, target date funds are the silver bullet or, you know, all well, I'll put it in 2020. Well, guess what? In 2020, we lost 28% for a little while. So you can't have your, you know, that and, and do that at all. Well, Tim, you know, no, no problems, no worry, no concern. I will just retire at a time where I am certain that the next several years are going to be up years right. in the market, right? right. Uh, of course, being facetious there because nobody right. knows. And, and no. even, even market professionals, Tim, have told us you cannot accurately time the market. But if your plan for retirement is, is based on the market, then you are just trying to luck into good timing with your retirement. Exactly. You know, and, and uh, to your point, even the pundits on MSNBC, you name it, a show, it doesn't matter what, what show. They, they have no clue. I mean, they have an inkling and hopefully they're right, but you know, half the time they're wrong. So 
I wouldn't listen to that. I'd make sure that I'm working in the know, you know, and, and have knowledge and logic as to how we're going to get to that sex, successful 30 year retirement. Not, I think, I feel, I hope, not based on assumptions or, or projections or hypothetical illustrations, but based on math and certainty, that's the way that a retirement income plan is structured. And if you would like to have that kind of plan, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. Perhaps you are comfortable with a portion of your portfolio fluctuating with the market. That's perfectly fine. Tim can help you uh, manage that to identify opportunities and protect what's important. But for the most part, for the majority of people, we're not comfortable with our income fluctuating to that great of an extent. And that's why having both an income plan and an investment plan balanced against each other, working in coordination is so important. And again, Tim Stearns can help you with both of those, managing those, structuring them, implementing, monitoring them on an ongoing basis. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. Tim, do you, do you ever have anybody that says, oh, I'm not really worried about running out of income. I'm just concerned with living too long. Right. <laughs> and, and, and that, and, and that, you know, longevity is a, is a risk. And the, we go over all the risks, you know, withdrawal rate risk, sequence of returns risk, but longevity is one of them. And a lot of people, that's a number one killer of a retirement, you know, that you live, you know, everyone jokes, oh, I want to write a check and it's going to bounce, you know, the day after I die. You know, what if you live another day after that? Yeah. We always talk about that as a now joke. My dad, right? my dad said his plan is to bounce his last check. Right. I said, right. just make sure it's the last one you need to write. <laughs> right, right. And, and you, you know, you never know. So if you live an extra day, you know, you, you, you're out of money. And I, and then who wants to live like that? Come on. So well, I, I, you want to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing when you're retiring. Tim, a nation of parents right now going back to school and becoming, uh, you know, the esteemed uh, title there of stay at home teacher, realizing that math may be a little different, a little bit more right. difficult than they remember. Uh, some of planning for our finances, some of what we need to understand about our money in retirement is, is based on math. Uh, a few math questions here. If you've paid no taxes on, on your retirement savings, uh, how much of that is going to be taxable when you retire? Right, and the answer is 100%. I literally was on, the phone, on a phone call uh, with a woman on, on Friday who said, wait, I have to pay taxes on my, my 401k? And I told her, I'm like, the IRS has a plan for your money just like you did. Hmm. And that is, they're going to get their comeuppance, you know, and they let you defer it for 30, 40 years, and now it's time to pay. And she was like, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. Well. I said, don't worry, we did when we factored it into your written income allocation plan. And I, I soothed her fear, she felt a lot better. Well, another little math problem here, Tim, when does 25% equal 33%? Uh, that's a good one. So it's when you suffer market losses and wanna get back to break even. So again, when does 25 equal 33%? You know, that means that the market fell 25%, and to make it back, you need 33%. And I've had people who have their masters in math go, wait, what? And you have to show it to them on, on paper. And they go, oh, yeah, you're totally right. So it's when you suffer market losses and want to get back to break even. And therefore, losses count more than gains. They certainly count more as you are withdrawing and creating income in retirement. So be, be cautious, be aware of that fact and factor that into your planning is that losses have uh, an impact, uh, maybe more significant than gains when you are in retirement and especially when you are creating that retirement income. Give Tim Stearns a call if you'd like to address that, learn more, go over those numbers just to be sure you understand them. 800 640 that's 800-640-2256. Tim, a similar kind of math question here that doesn't seem to make sense on the surface. This one about taxation. When does 20% equal 25%? Well, it's pretty easy. The answer is at least 25% uh, minus 40,000 times 1.25 will equal 50,000. So 55, excuse me, 50,000 times 20% equals actually $10,000. So what I'm trying to say is because at least 50%, because a $50,000 taxable withdrawal from a tax deferred retirement account will cause additional taxation on your social security. Now I know that was a lot of numbers to hear on the radio or a podcast, 
but I will tell people, come in, meet with us, and let us explain to you exactly what that means. That's what we're talking about factoring that tax bill into your retirement income right. plan. Tim, we might, we might think it's simply, well, I need to add X percent to, to what I need to take home. If we remember to factor in the taxes, we right. might think, well, I'm at a 20% tax rate. I just need to get 20% more income than what I want to spend. But that's not the case. We've got to do some reverse engineering on that. And it's actually significantly more, especially when you factor in that those withdrawals, that income that you're creating is also going to have an, an, an effect and an income uh, impact on what you get to keep from your social security. Right. And, and as you know, and most people don't know, they are doing means testing on Medicare. So, you know, if you are a saver, Medicare will charge you more than the average Joe who did not do anything as his or her own life. Maybe they have 20,000 in retirement and they will charge them a lot less versus you, you know they will trim it off your social security so that's another thing that people are not taking into effect well again today on the program here protect and grow chicago land retirement talking with chicago lands certified financial planner cfp tim stearns about the goals the expectations of your retirement income plan why it's so important to have a written retirement income plan if you don't have one if you're not sure if you're not certain that it's based on math and certainty rather than speculations or assumptions or hypotheticals. If you'd like to know, pick up the phone, give a call. If you'd like the book that explains what a true written retirement income plan is, income allocation, pick up the phone and give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, always a pleasure. We appreciate your time and sharing this important information with savers and investors across Chicagoland. Thanks again, Peter. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stern's full radio program on 890 WLS every Sunday at 11 a.m. and visit tjsterns.com for many valuable resources, including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe. Securities offered through TJ Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature and not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment and security or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.